caption. Hello everyone, hiya. <laughs> Hopefully you are all well today. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday the 20th of April. Hopefully you're all well today. Hopefully you're all staying safe. I'm Kate, for those of you who don't know me, and my mum Val and dad Mick. And we are the King family and we vlog on this channel every Monday and every Wednesday. So if you'd love to see more of what we get up to, then click that subscribe button down below, completely free to do so. Do like this video as well if you'd like to see more grocery hauls. We upload a grocery haul every week. And if it will allow you, I know that's very temperamental, um, do comment down below as well. As soon as I get a random comment, or a comment, there's loads of scam comments going around at the moment on the YouTube sphere. Um, it blocks the comments off straight away. Um, so if you're going to comment, then comment straight away and then you're more likely for me to read it. Okay, okay. Uh, this is my little outfit of the day. You haven't said about swimming. I'm going to anyway. Oh, right, okay. I'm do things in different order. There we go, I'm wearing jeans. And they look like proper jeans as well, don't they? They are proper jeans. You look without the button. Oh yeah. They're called what's called mum jeans as well. Mm -hmm. If you can hear any noise in the background, it's Nina and the new ones doing experiments. Oh right. I, I still like that programme, I'm a child at heart. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm doing a little tour of the garden. Yeah, and the magnolia looks like it's got some new buds on it, so... That might bloom again, I don't know. Yeah. And a very happy birthday to Elfie! Happy birthday! I love Elfie, he is so sweet. And um, I, when I see him, he goes, hey, hey, so that's like, him. And we have a nice chat every time we see one another. We really got on at school, Mum, didn't we? Mm. Um, do you remember him as Mr. Briggs in that, yes, in that, that play that fabulous. we did? Yeah. He was amazing at drama and yes. dance and all of that. Yeah. He was amazing at that. He's so talented, really mm. talented. And a very happy birthday to Chris as well, who writes poems. Hello, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Hopefully you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And a very happy birthday for tomorrow to Courtney, who's one of our fans. He keeps an eye on everything for me, uh, comments and all of that, um, any dodgy comments that comes on <laughs> the, the blogosphere. Uh, Courtney lets me know, and he's also a fan of the radio show as well. So a very happy birthday for tomorrow to Courtney. Hopefully Everybody born in ending. April, best month of the year. Mm, mm. September, obs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> I've been swimming this morning three days in a row. I went on my own on Monday. I went with Mandy yesterday and then I went to an aqua aerobics class for the first time this morning. Oh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was amazing. It was. But of course, I fun. can't see without my glasses, so that was fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> whether I was doing the right moves or not, I don't really know. But um, it was really, really good fun. We had Jackie. I had Jackie to my right, who we know anyway, and Sue. And it was just really, really, really lovely. Really lovely atmosphere. I love my music, as you all know, and I love dance, I love the water, and I love keeping fit, so the combination of all of that is fantastic to me. Yay. And I've also booked in for next week, I'm on the waiting list for the next week's, and I'm also going to be doing a dance fitness one next Thursday, like a normal one, not in the water. Um, so yeah, it's really, really exciting. I've joined the local leisure centre in Fairford Lees, and they are fantastic. If you live locally and you like your sports and keeping fit, then join the leisure centre. It's really yeah. good. Nuffield, isn't it? Yeah, Nuffield Leisure Centre. Yeah. And if you can't get to the one in Fairfield Leeds, then there's one in Milton Keynes as well. There's lots um, all over the country. You can join yeah. one and then go to everyone. And then go to everyone, yeah. yeah. So that might come in handy and when we're the, in Weymouth. Yeah, and the pool is hydrotherapy. Yeah, pool. the pool is so hydrotherapy. It's nice so it's beautiful and warm, not like the local one. No, freezing. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing and I can't do the cold. Um, due to circulation problems um, so it's really vital for me to get into a nice warm pool but you haven't clicked on to listen to that have you you've clicked no. on to see what is on yeah. the table you've been waffling week. enough come on i have indeed yes so without further ado let's see what we've got on the table 
So we start off with Tropicana, orange and mango for me, and orange with no bits for Dad. Let me just tell you about that. If you've got your blue cup card, this is all from Tesco's. The Tropicana is £2.50 this week, when it's usually £4.40. So it's really good. And they've got very good sell-by dates, so I've bought two of each, because that's a huge saving. It's yeah. almost two for the price of one. Then we have My Milk, which is the Channel Island Whole Milk. I think it's really important to have to have milk. It's so good for your bones, isn't it? It's mm. so good for your health. Um, and then we've got mum and dad's milk, which is the semi-skimmed. Granddad doesn't like the semi-skimmed, but he always drinks our tea and coffee, so <laughs> I can't really explain Yeah, but we're in choice. He uses whole milk, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. That, that, that's yeah. good for him as well. So Yeah, definitely. Keeps him going, at least. Mm. Poor man's got no internet, so he won't be watching this grocery haul this afternoon, which is such a shame. He loves watching these. Um, we've got some close cup mushrooms. Dad and I love mushrooms, and they are hand picked and produced in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Hello, Steve and Michael. <laughs> We have two grapefruits. Dad and I share a grapefruit every morning. And I don't know whether it's because I've been swimming for three days in a row, but I'm terribly craving anything that's fruity. Um, so grapefruit this morning was really, really welcoming and just oh, just what I needed. And I've got a glass of flavoured water over there as well. You know when you just crave something very refreshing and very fruity. And hot drinks for me just don't do that, including tea. Right, we have some lemons and mum... Well, yeah, well, fine. lemons, we don't just have them for gin and tonics because um, I don't drink gin and tonic, but I use them for when I've been cooking, so curry, fish or some things that are a bit smelly and hang around. Just cut one a lemon in half and put it in a little dish on the top in the kitchen or in the hallway or wherever um, you, you actually uh, use the, um, where your cooking facilities are. Um, and it absorbs all the smell and also I put one in the oven if I've done something that's like that in the oven and it really really works as Mel knows because she does that now yeah don't Hello, you Mel, Mel. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Mel. I bet they're itching to see what's going on today because we're late oh I see yeah um, we've got King Edward potatoes. We haven't had those for a while. No. Uh, grown in Essex. All right, Essex. Um, that was my attempt at an Essex accent. Um, and grown by Tom Stevens. Sorry, Tom Stevenson. Mm. I didn't see that. Tom Stevenson. Some very delicious looking blackberries. Uh, they're from Morocco. And as usual, the variety is Drist Driscoll Victoria's. We got some rice at home, which is unusual, but I, I can know, tell that Dad came shopping with you. No, they look very nice, so nice. It, it, it was worth a chance with those. They're South African, and the variety is Ruby Star. Mm. And then we got two punnets of raspberries. I love raspberries. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that. Um, and they're produced in Portugal, and they're majestic. You can mix and match. You get two for three pound fifty. But I don't, we don't do blueberries and things no, like that. No, so. Granddad does, but we don't. I've do moved we, round. We don't do blueberries. We've got some garlic. And a, a random, random sweet. sweet. Yes, a British sweet. Is that for Jeremy? Course. No, it's for his son, son isn't it? Son Hugo, yes. There you go, Hugo. There we go. A random Swede grown, obviously, in the UK. We've got a bag of British carrots. A British cauliflower. Obviously, it cuts down the food miles if you buy local or... British food, which we try and do, Mum, don't we? Mm. It is hard, though. I think that's Spanish saying that, the cabbage. Sweetheart cabbage from Spain, yeah, like it always is. A bag of British brown onions, grown by Matt Gregory and from Suffolk. You've forgotten the asparagus, did you mean to? Oh, yeah. Asparagus, they were juice this week, £2.50 they were, and now 98p. Um, and grown in the UK by the Chin family. Now, asparagus you need to buy while it's very 
like in new season. in season because those stalks can be a bit if they're old well, asparagus. Well, Grandad has a technique with asparagus. He cuts the head, he cuts them, and he puts the head separately to the tails. Well, that's because the stalk takes longer than the head. Because yeah. the head goes all mushy otherwise if you... I just pop them in for the last couple of minutes of whatever, so they don't get... We have a Spanish broccoli. <laughs> right. Three jacket potatoes. Yep. Just a nice, quick, easy tea when we're having to rush to bubbles and goodness knows where. We have some salted butter. Some British salted butter. Oh, cheddar cheese. Yum. Extra mature. That's on special as well with your green card. Uh, blue card. Do I say green card? Because sure. we were talking about green at the doctor's. So yeah. <laughs> then we have 10 free range eggs. Now they're um, they're golden yolks, and they work out at the moment they're on special, so they're quite expensive. They work out on special two pound fifty for ten, but they are really worth it because they are you get a lot of yolk, and and they're very nice. To the meat department. Oh yes, and we it was lamb half price this week. It, uh, it last week. Last week, and it's beef, beef this, this week. week. There we go. So I think one's from Ireland. Mm. No. How can I? It tells you on it. Does it? Mm. At the top it says Tesco's and then it will tell you if it's oh, Irish British or whether it's... Oh, right. oh, I see. British beef, medium roasting joint, yeah. British and this is Irish. Yeah. Then we have three of my favourite, and I'm still on these, the mango and passion fruit mousses. These are lovely. If you love your fruit and you love your puddings, it's just a lovely, lovely light dessert. What have we got here? Oh, McCain's national, the nation's favourite chips. Yeah. The lighter variety though, yeah. because da Daz Tummy doesn't agree with the other ones. Well, also the lighter ones are better because they're more crispy. Yeah. Then we have 5% fat beef mint. Couldn't get any lamb. So we've got two lots of those. We have some paddock fillets. Yeah. Just makes a nice easy tea, normally on a Monday. And then cauliflower cheese bake, if we're feeling lazy. Yeah. And why not? I always keep that as a spare. And we are allowed. And then I just add bits to it and a cheese sauce. Oh, without the shells. Yes, oh, I thought that was a good idea. Yeah, are these suitable for, yeah, suitable for vegans? Pistachios. Roses, pistachios. And Dad's friend Pete, Dad's best friend Pete, who sadly isn't here anymore, um, he died in 2019, he loved pistachios.